Today we're gonna talk about the new version of Cinema 4D 2023.1. It brought with it many features and updates, including fluid and dynamic simulations, modeling and redshift features. This release looks really exciting because it brought with it most importantly fluid simulations with the introduction of pyro in Cinema 4D. It allows you to create fires and smoke very easily and dynamically inside the viewport, which is really interesting. It allows you for example to emit smoke, fire and explosions and everything else in between. And you can do this using objects or splines, which makes it look easy and very efficient. And you can do this on the GPU, CPU, whatever you want. With this update, you can control smoke density, fire temperature, in addition to a lot more parameters. Before that, Cinema 4D users had to like use other plugins such as Xparticles and FumaFax. And these two plugins are extremely important and powerful. And they have been used for many, many years in the industry. FumaFax, for example, was created in 1999, I believe. And it has been used in the industry for more than 20 years. Also, Xparticles has been around for a long time. This is my personal opinion. Even though these new tools of fire and smoke inside Cinema 4D are looking super great, I don't think that they're gonna surpass FumaFax or Xparticles very easily because, as I said, these plugins have been around for a long time and they have been used in the industry for many many years up to a couple of decades. So the teams creating these tools know what they are doing and they are sometimes, such as FumaFax, a company dedicated to developing such a tool which is FumaFax. It is powerful, efficient and it is trusted by big studios in the industry. But you can use a combination of both, for example, if you need something quick for a small project, probably you're going to use these tools that are introduced in Cinema 4D, but for serious projects, studios and big companies are still going to be using these plugins until Cinema 4D proves that the new tools and features are really trustworthy and ready to be integrated into a production pipeline. Anyways, the fire simulations of fire and smoke in Cinema 4D look great, and they're gonna allow you to create, as I said, explosions, smoke, fires, and anything else in between. Also, you can export pyro volumes into other projects outside of Cinema 4D if you wanna do that because seemingly it is very possible. In addition to this, we have Cinema 4D's new integrated redshift camera, which makes it even easier to get the perfect shot. Especially if you're working on very complicated projects, this is gonna be very beneficial. And you're gonna be able to do this thanks to intuitive physical camera controls and Redshift effect settings. Redshift is a really powerful rendering plugin that has been introduced to Maxon a couple of years ago. And actually it is now part of it after they bought it from the company that created it. And now it became a really powerful asset, especially for Cinema 4D users because it has seen a lot of updates recently and it is becoming better and better every year. This new version of Cinema 4D also brought with it some modeling tools, specifically new radial symmetry tools, and with them you can immediately model anything that is round by defining a number of slices and offsets. And this I believe will save you a lot of time, especially when modeling circular stuff and adding shapes and geometries in circular arrays. And even though this is just a small tool, I believe it's gonna be beneficial for many modeling artists. When it comes to viewport improvements, we also have the viewport preview of Redshift materials that was improved, with support for animated textures, ramps, and color correction nodes, which is really interesting. If you want to know more, you can take a look at Cinema 4D's 2023.1 release notes and see what it offers in more detail. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.